Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about adding mixed numbers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here right now is the next level on how to add fractions, and that is adding mixed numbers. And this one is quite simple because what we have here are mixed numbers in which the, de the denominator of its fraction part has the same number, meaning this one is as easy as 1, 2, 3. So let's get started. We have here 2 and 2 over 5 plus 1 and 1 fifth. So how do we add this kind of mixed numbers? Basically, we can separate, we can dissect or we can add the whole numbers and the fractions separately. And it goes like this. Example, I have here this 2 and 1 as my whole numbers. What I'm going to do is I will add them separately. Then later on, we will deal with the fractions. We have here 2 plus 1. That would be equal to 3. And now, as for the fraction part, we can have here 2 fifths. Let's put here addition sign, plus one-fifth. So here, guys, we will copy three. And then as for the fractions, since they have the same denominators, what we need to do is this. We will copy the same denominator and then simply add the numerators. That would be two plus one. So the answer is three. And as you can see, what we have now is three plus 3 over 5. Actually, uh, plus symbol is not necessar necessarily in this part, but I'm just giving you the idea that we're doing addition. So we have 3 plus 3 over 5. That would be 3 and 3 over 5. This is now the final answer for this problem. Okay? So now, you can pause the video for a while and you can try adding this example. Okay, let's continue. What we have now is 7 and 1 over 6 plus 2 and 2 over 6. Same process. We will add separately the whole numbers and the fractions. We will start with this. We have 7 and 2. So what is 7 plus 2, guys? That would be equal to 9. And now, let's proceed with the fractions. Plus... We have the 1 over 6 plus 2 over 6. So this 2 over 6. Copy your whole number 9. And then, as you can see, we have the same denominators. Copy your denominator 6. Then add the numerators 1 plus 2. That would be equal to 3. And as you can see, we have your fraction that is 3 over 6. Um, this one can be expressed in lowest terms. So let's put here the 3 over 6 and let's think what is the lowest term of 1 over 6. Okay, very good. This one can be expressed as 1 half. Why? Because their greatest common factor are both 3, meaning we can divide this number by 3, this number by 3, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2, meaning our answer must be 9. And instead of 3 over 6, we can use the 1 half. So the correct answer is 9 and 1 half. We will have 9 and 1 half. And that's very easy for you to follow. So guys, as part of our routine, let me give you another example. And let me know what is your answer in the comment section down below. So we have number 3. We have 5 and 1 over 7 plus 4 and 2 over 7. So, guys, if you have any question or any requested topic for me to discuss, feel free to comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. But hit the bell button for you to be updated on the latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat and bye-bye!